There's a mouse on your balcony. I know, and he's adorable. <laughs> We're going to have to catch him and set him free because there is no way I'm killing him. <laughs> What's going on, Official Nation? I'm Kyle with Glass Aquatics, and this is Lisa with Lockery Fine Art. Today, we're going to be playing a multiple choice game. Lisa's going to have to answer facts about walking dendros in a game we like to call These Dendros Are Made For Walking, and That's Just What They'll Do. One of these days, these dendros are going to walk all over you, or Lisa in this case. All right, Lisa, are you ready? Um, Don't look at that. I'm not, I can't even see, but I do want to know what happens if I win or lose. I'm not going to lose. Wait, I am because I don't actually know anything about these guys. Okay, so what's going to happen is you have to tell me the answers to these questions. If you get more than four wrong, you're going to have to clean the tanks at the store. If you get more than five right, then I have to clean your fish tank. That seems unfair. My fish tank is 13 and a half gallons. Their store... Wait, could I play with Tony while I clean that tank? Yeah, Tony loves to be played with. Okay, done. Okay, so, question number one. Walking dendros are fairly new to the hobby, but how new is new? What year were walking dendros introduced into the aquarium hobby? Was it A, 2017, B, 1999, C, 2009, or D, yesterday? 2009. I think you're cheating. No, you know how I want to hear how I narrowed That's that down. That's one right. I will tell you how I narrowed that down. I got out of the hobby in 2005 and had never heard of them before then, so I could rule out 1999. I've heard of it since 2017 or before that, so I just kind of, okay. you know, process of elimination. All right. I'm not well. cleaning your fish tanks. <laughs> All right. Question number two. Being somewhat rare in the hobby, some consider their cost to be high. How much does the average walking dendro cost? Is it A, 95 to 115, B, 50 to 70, C, 250 to 300, or D, 80,000 to 100,000? 95 to what was the other number? 95 to? 115. 115 is my guess. I'm sorry, you're getting closer to cleaning my tanks because the answer is B, 50 to $70. Oh. Question number three. Everyone knows that the dendro has a worm that lives inside of it, but do you know what type of worm it is? I didn't even know they had a worm. <laughs> Thank God this is multiple choice. Is it A, a peanut worm? B, a cherry worm? C, a bristle worm? Or D, a heart worm? Okay, well, this is fairly easy because I know what a bristle worm is, and I know it's not a peanut worm, and I know it's, oh, am I wrong? And I know it's not a heart worm. I don't know. Because I treat my dogs for that. So the, what was the, uh, the cherry one? A cherry worm. Yes. Is no. that your answer? That's my answer. Well, you're wrong because cherry worms are made up. The answer is A, a peanut really? worm. Really? Yes. But peanut worms don't need those to live. No, they don't need them, but they like them. I did not know that. You're learning all kinds of stuff. Wow. Plus, I, see, I thought I would have this because I'm like, no, I know what these other worms are. There's no way it's one of those. Okay. <laughs> so Crap. you're getting closer to cleaning tanks How many my tanks can I already. lose before I have to clean tanks? You can get no more than four wrong. You've got two wrong. All right. Wait, I have to get five right, though? Right. That doesn't seem fair. Well, I feel like you skewed these numbers to your favor. Well, I mean, you have to get more than five right. So you have to get six right. You are making this worse. I mean... <laughs> Can you tell he just doesn't want to clean my tank? I mean, you know, I clean enough tanks. That's your Question job. number four. If there wasn't a reason for the worm to live inside of the dendro, that would be weird, right? I think it's weird that it lives there in the first place. I mean, if I had a worm living in my butt, it better be active. I mean... Words I did not expect to come out of your mouth. <laughs> Let's get back on topic. Why does the worm live inside the dendro? Is it A, it feeds off the waste of the dendro and it also help keeps, keep, helps keep the dendro clean? Is it B, it feeds the dendro and in return the, the dendro allows the worm safe breeding space? Is it C, the worm moving around inside the dendro keeps the dendro from being covered by sand and the dendro provides protection to the worm? Or is it D, 
it doesn't know a better way to make friends, so it forces itself on the defense's coral. Honestly, D seems like the most likely to me. Um, <laughs> but I'm pretty sure that's not the accurate answer, so I'm just going to have to guess. I'm going to go with, wait, B? It feeds the dendro, and in return, the dendro allows the worm safe breeding space? Wait, you didn't say they breed inside them, though, so maybe that's a bad choice. Okay, I'm going with B. I'm just going to, I'm just going with it. <laughs> Well, no you are wrong again, because the answer is C. The worm moving around keeps the dendro from being covered by sand, and the dendro provides protection to the worm. That makes a bit more sense. <laughs> I'm still hung up on that it's a peanut worm living inside them. I didn't know they had worms, and I sure did not know it was a peanut worm. See? They get cooler and cooler the more that you know, right? The more or, you or know. Or less. Okay, well, I mean... I, I don't know. I'm right. going back to wanting a feather duster worm. If I'm going to have a worm, I think I want a feather duster. <laughs> okay. So question number five, five. We, we now know a lot about the pair that make up the walking dendro, but do you know how they came together in the first place? Yes. Okay, let's see if you can get it without me reading the answers. I'm going to guess somebody put them in the tank and it was such a small environment, they just decided we may as well be buddies because <laughs> we have no other options and ta-da, they live together. There's a worm that lives out okay. in my hermit crab shell. It happens sometimes. <laughs> so which answer most fits that definition? <laughs> Is it A, the worm finds the dendro and burrows a hole in the base to make a home? Is it B, the baby dendro lands on top of the worm and grows around it? Is it C, the worm grows inside the dendro and burrows out? Or D, the worm is manually placed inside the dendro by distributors in a sick attempt <laughs> to make a buck? <laughs> These aren't hermit crabs, so I'm going to go with A. And you're wrong again. So that means Crap. that you have to clean my tanks. But we will extend this. Good. So is there still a chance I could win and you if have you, to clean mine? Yes. If okay. you get two more wrong, then that's it. You're, you're cleaning the tanks. That's all there is to it. So the, the answer is B, the baby dendro lands on top of the worm and grows around it. So random. The ocean is so <laughs> weird. <laughs> Being that corals are animals, they have to eat. Being that dendros are corals, that means they must eat, right? Mm -hmm. How do dendros eat? A, they use feeder tentacles. B, they are photosynthetic. C, they're both A and B. Or D, they consume the souls of other dendros they defeat in combat. If it were D, I am buying one today. Like, I am following you back to the store and buying one. But I'm pretty sure C... You are right. <laughs> I'm happy Both to A not have to clean B. my own tanks. They are photosynthetic and they eat from their tentacles. Which is, I mean, most corals, so. Process of elimination finally did me some Sure, good. but a lot of people think that dendros are only, that are there are not photosynthetic at all. What kind of lighting do they like? High, low, medium? Uh, well, since they're basically always in the sand, I would say medium to low. But that's only because they're not going to be found on the the top of like rocks. Yeah. Otherwise they would burn. I'm hoping to draw out like t like um, hints to the next answer. Oh, I'm going to just ask I you a see. few questions here and there and learn a bit more about them before I have to. So I lied again. There's actually two questions left now. So now that I've already committed to you, only you having to get two. two more right, you can still get one more wrong. Okay. So we've talked about their friendships, their diet, and their price. What we haven't talked about is the birds and the bees. Let's do that now. Kay. How do dendros reproduce? A, they gamete. B, they bud. Wait, aren't you going to define what gamete is? No. I just figured people could figure that out. All right, fine, whatever. It is a mature haploid male or female germ cell, which is able to unite with another of the opposite sex in sexual reproduction to form a zygote. So now that we've defined what gamete is, A, they gamete, B, they bud, C, both A and B, or D, they are forced to reproduce by distributors in a sick attempt to make a buck. <laughs> it's not like your C for all the future things. I'm gonna go with A. Because I don't know what it means. 
It sounds fancy. Uh, wrong. But you still have one more attempt. The but answer is C. Be... Oh. It's both A and B. So I'm half right. Half right. All right, you get half a point. Okay. Okay. So it all comes down to this last question. Last question. So now that you're almost an expert at walking dendros, do you know where they live? Is it A, South Africa, B, the Gulf of Mexico, C, Indo-Pacific, or D, Lake Erie? I mean, Indo-Pacific seems a little too obvious because everything's from there. South Africa? Is that your final answer? Yes. You are cleaning my tanks at the store. That is all there is to it. Even with you adding bonus questions. Yeah, well, dendros are hard to understand. <laughs> I didn't even, yeah, peanut worms. <laughs> okay. Do you guys have one of these fun critters? If you do, please let us know in the comments. What have you learned from them? How do you best take care of them? How, hopefully you haven't learned how not to take care of them. That's just sad. If you happen to be in the North Texas area, definitely head over to Glass Aquatics. I'm there all the time. All the time. Also, make sure if you have not already subscribed to this channel, we're going to be doing a few of these quizzes, hopefully with corals I know a bit more about. Peanut worms, who knew? <laughs> Done. <laughs> okay, I like it.